So I panic because there's one adult woman and two children and she's got two alcoholic beverages on her table and I'm in trouble if someone, the wrong person were to see that. So I go to the assistant manager and I'm like, hey, what did you just bring her? And he's like, oh, I just, I just made like a virgin daiquiri for her. And I, I just look at him like, oh, oh okay, but I, there's mint in it. It's obviously a mojito, but I, I don't know what to say. So I just go back to the bar and we made all of our own drinks. We didn't have a bartender. So he had not cleaned up after himself and left all of the ingredients for a mojito out, including an empty bottle of rum. So I'm thinking, dang, that's a, that's two alcoholic beverages. If the marshal walks in and sees this, he's like, who's that server? I lose my liquor license. So I'm not knowing what to do. I go to the hostess and I'm like, should I like text the general manager? Should I confront the assistant manager? Or should I just like not do anything? Like, I, I don't know what to do. I really don't want to get in trouble. And the hostess is like, well, are you sure that it's a mojito and not actually a virgin daiquiri? So I leave the hostess and I go to the bar and I pick up this bottle of the empty rum, this is paint, but the empty rum over my head. I was like, well, it was a daiquiri or a mojito. It definitely was a virgin. So I'm like this with the bottle above my head as the assistant manager like walks around and sees me and I'm like, shit, I didn't, I wasn't ready for this. But I had to play it off like I was. So I was like, oh, virgin daiquiri? Well, where'd all the rum go? And he's like, oh yeah, I forgot. I, she always wants me to make mojitos for her and I, and I just found mint, so I, I just made her a mojito. I was like, okay, then why'd you tell me it was a virgin daiquiri? And he's like, I don't worry about it, I'll ring it in right now. So I thought that was over and done with. He rang it in and, and he did actually pay for everything. So I was like, okay, this wasn't that bad. However, someone told the general manager about that incident. So the next day he comes to me like, so what happened with the mojito daiquiri or whatever? I fill him in. And the general manager has been trying to get this guy fired forever. Like he hates this guy. So he pounces on me, like with this opportunity of like catching him in the act of like giving away free alcohol. So then... The general manager goes to the assistant manager and he, you know, really gets on. He just lays into him about how unprofessional it is, you know, all the other things that he's been in trouble for and really gets on to him. The assistant manager knows that I must have told him, so now he's really mad at me. So, because the assistant manager is upset with me for getting him in trouble, even though it was his own actions, he just starts telling all of my coworkers about my home life that he supposedly knows from the girlfriend that when she attended church when I was a, you know, infant. And he told all of my coworkers that I'm the problem child because my dad was fucking the pastor's wife. Well, if you recall, my father was the pastor, so his wife would in fact be the pastor's wife. And my parents are divorced now, obviously not for that reason, but like, that's really harmful because he doesn't know why they're divorced. He doesn't know how that affects me, but he's using it as like slander for all my friends. 